Well, BLI actually uh, stands for uh, bilayer interferometry. Uh, it is an optical detection technology uh, based on thin film inter interference. So thin film interference is a very common uh, phenomenon we see every day, actually. And so I want to give you a, a very brief history about a BLI uh, technology. I found that uh, for the bio uh, back in uh, 2001, uh, uh, we invented BLI technology over there, and we developed our first very primitive uh, BLI prototype to prove the concept in 2002. And then we commercialized the technology, launched Octet Instruments in uh, 2006. Um, I call this a period, actually, it's a, it's a period for first generation BLI. Well, uh, we decided to come back uh, into this uh, field. And we want to make much better BLI. And uh, so this is the, the beginning of the Gator. And uh, we call it next generation BLI. And we want to improve the performance. We want to reduce the cost. We want to make everything much better than the first generation BLI. And we believe there are many new applications in the uh, biopharma industry and also in diagnostics uh, that can use uh, uh, our new technology here. And we launched our first instrument, Gator. And uh, so that's really the, the, the history of a BLI. Now, the BLI actually is, uh, is uh, built on this uh, small device. Um, actually, I have it over here. I don't know if you can see it in my hand, a very small device. And um, we call it the probe, okay? Uh, in the center, it is a, a one millimeter diameter uh, glass rod and it is uh, 20 millimeters long, okay? So we build everything on this. And um, uh, at the very end, very tip end, we build our chemistry. So started with a probe, it's a glass rod, rod. Uh, can be different size, but uh, uh, the current model, we use uh, one millimeter in diameter. And uh, we coat an optical layer on one end of this uh, uh, probe. And then on the optical layer, we build our surface chemistry. So that is our bio sensor, basically. It's a very simple, very straightforward. Actually, we make them in the millions every month. Well, so how it works. We shine a light, a white light, uh, into the, uh, the other end of the probe. And uh, the photons would uh, travel down the, uh, the, the, the probe to the, uh, the detection uh, end. And then, uh, at the interface of uh, the probe and the reflection beam, uh, probe and the, uh, the optical layer, one uh, uh, re reflection beam would go back, would reflect back. And at the interface of the, uh, the cap surface chemistry and the uh, ambient, there's a second reflection goes back. So these two reflection beams will interfere and create an in interference pattern, as I shown here. Uh, it is an uh, intensity uh, of a light at a certain wavelength, okay? So it's a, it's a wavelength function. And we measure the peak of this uh, uh, interference pattern, okay? And the peak actually is our nanometer shift, okay? We use that to measure the, uh, the, uh, the binding event of uh, molecules. So we dip this probe into a well, and then we have a molecules uh, bound to the surface, and we measure the, uh, the peak change, the, uh, the, the, the lambda change, and the lambda change can be converted into the shift. So that is a binding curve, real-time binding curve. You can see that green uh, curve, that is our real-time uh, binding curve. And if we dip the, uh, the probe into the second molecule, and uh, if the second molecule to bind to the first molecule, then we can see the, uh, the binding curve again, right? Now, if we strip off the, uh, the second molecule from the surface, meaning dissociate the second molecule from the uh, first molecule, then we can measure the uh, so-called dissociation curve, okay? So we use this technology, we can measure kinetics in real time. Very simple, very easy, very straightforward. And uh, we designed new optics, and also we designed a new chemistry that gave us a much better performance than the previous generation uh, BLI, right? And uh, this first Gator instrument 
uh, uses uh, 96 well plates, standard 96 well plates, and uh, um, it has uh, eight channels. We can read eight uh, essays simultaneously in parallel. Um, and it, it can uh, read data at 10 hertz fast enough to measure small molecule reaction or fast on, fast off um, activities. In addition, because we have, uh, 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 we can put a 296 well place in the system. So we expand the, uh, the, 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 uh, the capacity of the instrument. So now you can run 168 quantitation assays per load, meaning each time you load the two plates and you can run 168 assays continuously. And uh, the best thing about this technology is uh, fluidics free, which means you don't have to, uh, you don't need to worry about the, uh, the pipes, uh, tubings, valves, and uh, everything is uh, in microtidal wells, okay, 96 wells. And so it's a very easy, uh, the instrument is uh, literally plug and play. Uh, and and uh, uh, Gita Plus can use uh, 384 well plate and also 96 too, and the 384. Um, it has uh, four times more assays in one run. Basically, uh, you can uh, extend the, uh, the walkaway time. It's a four X longer, four times longer, okay? So you can set up an essay, walk away, and come back, get the results, and uh, then uh, 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 write a report. Very easy, very simple. Another advantage of a Gator Plus is now you can do um, uh, good size of up to a binning application in one plate. So typically it's a 16 by 16. We can do 16 by 16 uh, up to binning very easily in a single plate setup. And, uh, and in addition to that, uh, we know, you know, the, the, the labs actually, they are air conditioned. So sometimes in the summertime, you have the, uh, the cooling system turn on, the temperature will drop a few degrees. In the winter time, your heater, you know, would kick, kick in and the uh, temperature will raise a few degrees. And uh, so we want to minimize the ambient environment impact on our measurement. So we increase the, uh, the thermal shield on this machine. So we have a three times better thermal stability than, uh, than the, uh, the, the, the gator, the first gator and our competitors. Also, we developed very powerful and a very intuitive software to work with the, uh, the technology. And the uh, people can use that to uh, set up the uh, assay, to run the assay and uh, analyze the results and report the results for both quantitation and uh, kinetics um, assays. And uh, we are currently improving our software. And uh, so we're gonna have uh, uh, many new uh, features, new functions added into the uh, software. Uh, this is our contact information and uh, we have uh, a website, but if you want more information, you can write an email to us. It's info at gatorbio.com, or you can link to us, uh, you know, it's a, a Gator Bio, okay? So thank you very much. This is my pre presentation for today.